Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Yes. Good, Good, evening. Evening. Good evening. Hi, how are you? Welcome to this final class. Okay, so it's Friday. Tomorrow, Saturday, most of you get to, to rest a little bit. Some others have to work. I have to work. <laughs> but okay, we, this is the final class. So everybody, welcome. And uh, well, let's do this. I'm going to share the screen with you now. <coughs> Let's see, today or tonight, Luis Alonso is with us. So is Jenny Sanchez, Rufina Milcar, Luis Enriquez, Imelda Sanchez. Luis Enriquez, sorry. Uh, and Frank Francisco Isaac, okay? So everybody, be welcome. Also Gladys Campos is here. Let's see, okay, great. Everybody, welcome. This is Inglés Intermedio, Modulo 3, final class. Okay, and that's me, Ivan Doñang, at your service. It's Intermediate 3, Session 16, and uh, it's November 4th, okay, uh, 2022 or 2022, as you prefer. So we're going to begin. Well, uh, we have been studying uh, the second conditional sentences or the present unreal conditional sentences. So uh, we have finished, we're done with that topic. Also yesterday, if you remember, we studied the opposites, the antonyms. And today we have to get into a new topic. And we're going to do some exercises related to that. So lesson objective, this is 5.7. By the end of this class, participants will learn and understand the use of unreal conditional sentences with if clauses. Let's do it. It's a form of conditional sentence, but a bit different, you know, from the ones that we've been studying. So the grammar focus that you can see in uh, section 5.A in the platform, you will find this, the grammar focus. Um, explained by uh, Miss Jessica. So past models, we use would have or should have plus a past participle to give opinions or suggestions about actions in the past. So how does it work? You say, for example, what should I have done? You should have told them about it. You shouldn't have hidden it. What would you have done? I would have called him. I wouldn't have sent him an email. Again, this is the piece of um, information that you can find in point 5.8 of the platform. But again, as you know, my job right here is to go beyond, okay? Explain a bit more and give you more opportunity to practice. More opportunities, I'm sorry, to practice. So let's do this. We're going to begin with this, should have done, okay? You see this girl right here, she's dizzy. By the way, that's vocabulary. In case you didn't know, take a look. You have dizzy. What's the meaning of dizzy? Mareado, mareada, okay? Ah, well, if you were going to go that way, let's take a look. That's the meaning of dizzy. It could mean mareado, mareados, mareada, mareadas. That's a good thing about adjectives in English, okay? Dizzy is an adjective, okay? The good thing about adjectives in English is that they basically have only one form. That means there is no masculine or feminine for adjectives in English. And also there is no number. So the word dizzy, means mareado, means mareada, means mareados, and also means mareadas. Okay, so just one word in English for four words in Spanish. That's a very nice thing, okay? So I can say, for example, I am dizzy, and I can say they are dizzy. You never add an S to the adjective. This is incorrect, so just that, dizzy, okay? which is a very, very cool thing about adjectives in English. So 
going back to the presentation, you see the girl, she's dizzy. So what do we say about that? The girl shouldn't have spun around so many times. By the way, spun, what is that? There is the verb spin, which is dar vueltas, okay? That's the verb spin. And the past participle of spin is spun. That's the past participle, okay? Spun. So the girl shouldn't have spun around so many times. You know, when you're a kid, well, when you were kids, probably you tried doing this. You started spinning around, spinning around, spinning around many times. And then in the end, you were like very dizzy. Okay, so this is a common child's play. Um, she fell to the ground. Okay, so she shouldn't have spun around so many times because she fell to the ground. Her father told her not to do it. She should have listened to him. Okay, so what is this? Take a good look. You should have done something. The meaning of that is you didn't do it, but it would have been a good thing to do. Okay. ¿Qué es esto? You should have done something. Es algo que usted debería haber hecho. Okay. O que no debería haber hecho en caso de ser negativo. For example, in this case, the girl shouldn't have spun around so many times. La chica no debió o no debería haber dado vueltas tantas veces. Se terminó mareando. She fell to the ground. Her father told her not to do it. Her father said, hey, Christy, don't do this, okay? It's not good for you. But she didn't listen and she did it anyway. She started spinning and spinning and spinning around. So she should have listened to him. Ella debería haberlo escuchado o debió haberlo escuchado. That's the meaning of this. In other words, this is like giving advice, but about a situation in the past. Okay? You should have done something means you didn't do it. But it would have been a good thing to do. Similarly, you can use it in negative form, but uh, that's for the next slide. So right now, take a look. There are two examples right here. I'm going to ask for some people to help me read them. Amilka, <clears throat> can you read the first example, please? Okay. You missed a great party last night. You should have come. Why didn't you? Thank you, Amilcar. You missed a great party last night. Te perdiste una gran fiesta noche, right? You should have come. Why didn't you? Debiste haber venido o deberías haber venido, haber llegado, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué no lo hiciste? Right? So you should have come. Why didn't you? Sorry, mosquitoes. Okay, that's it. So you should have come. That means this person didn't go to the party. Pero debería haber ido. No se la habría perdido en ese caso. The second example. Maybe Luis Alonso can help me read this, please. I wonder why they, they are so late. They should have been here long ago. Thank you, Luis. I wonder why they are so late. They should have been here long ago. Deberían haber estado acá o deberían estar ya acá, ¿verdad? De hace ratos. They should have been here long ago. Okay, so that's the thing with should have. Should have done something. What about the negative form of it? The negative form is shouldn't have done. When we say that you shouldn't have done something, that means you did it but it wasn't a good thing to do. It was a bad idea, okay? And you have some examples. Jenny Sanchez, maybe, can you help me read this? The first one, please. I'm feeling sick. I shouldn't have eaten so much. Thank you, Jenny. The person says, I'm feeling sick. I shouldn't have eaten so much. No debí haber comido tanto, 
right? And now the person is sick. So this person ate a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. There was an all you can eat at the restaurant and this person ate all he or she could eat. <laughs> Bad idea. Okay, now this person is feeling sick. So this person said, I shouldn't have eaten so much. No debía haber comido tanto. All right. What about the next example, um, Estela? Okay. You should, uh, you should have listened to our conversation. I was private. It was it private. Was private. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Thank you, Estela. Very good. You shouldn't have listened to our conversation. It was private. Okay. You shouldn't have listened to our conversation. No debiste escuchar nuestra conversación. O no debiste haber escuchado nuestra conversación. Era privada. Okay, so you shouldn't have listened to our conversation. It was private. One thing about uh, the model should, because should is a model auxiliary. Fíjense acá, ¿verdad? Should es un modo. Por lo tanto, según las reglas que hemos estudiado, después solamente puede ir un verbo en forma base. O sea que siempre vamos a ocupar have para esta estructura. Should have, shouldn't have. Ok, siempre. Now, uh, speaking of that, the pronunciation of should, it's like this, okay? The L is silent, so we don't pronounce it. We don't say should, mm -mm, that's incorrect. You have to say should, should, right? The L is silent, you don't pronounce it, should, that's it. Okay, just uh, remember that there's a pronunciation tip. Should. I see you're taking taking notes. That's good. That's very good. Let's see who else is with us tonight? Olivia Soria is with us. In negative. In negative. Ah, okay. In negative, it's the same idea, just again, the L is silent. You say shouldn't. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't. So this one is not pronounced. Shouldn't. You're welcome. Now, shouldn't, of course, is the short form of should not. It's the same thing. Okay, so uh, back to the presentation. You can see it here. There's a structure. You need to use a subject, then the modal auxiliary, which is should or shouldn't, plus have. Again, remember, should and shouldn't are models. So you have to use have. Nunca vayan a ocupar has. Van a decir, ah, pero es que el sujeto era he, she, it. No, nada que ver. Como va después de un model, Siempre va a ocupar la forma base del verbo. Y la forma base de have es have. Y nada más. And after that, you need to use the main verb in past participle. Remember the past participles. Been, non, done, etc. All right? So there you go. Again, the subject could be any subject. I, you, he, she, it, we, or they. Then should or shouldn't. Then you use have. And after that, the main verb in past participle. That's the main structure right here. This is what we call perfect models. How many people are there here today? 13. Okay, that's a good number. There is Alejandra Magaña, Paola Maria, Imelda, Francisco Isaac, Michelle, Sonia Guadalupe, Griselda. Let's see who else. Olivia Osorio, Gladys Campos, Luis Enriquez, Estela, Jenny, Rufina Milcar, and Luis Alonso. Okay, good. That's it. Luis Hernandez, I'm sorry. It's Luis Enriquez. I made a mistake. Sorry. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, Let's continue then. Before we uh, proceed to the exercises, do you have any questions 
on the use of this structure? No questions? Okay. No questions. Great. Okay, so if that's the case, we're going to work in small groups, groups of three for the next activity. What are we going to do? This is your turn. Read the situations and write sentences with should have or shouldn't have. Let's do the first one together as an example. I am feeling sick. I ate too much. What can you say using should have or shouldn't have? This is one of the examples I gave you. So who wants to try? Me siento mal, ¿verdad? Comí demasiado. Entonces, no debí comer tanto. ¿Cómo será ahí? In English. I should have eaten too much. I shouldn't have eaten so much. Okay. Normally, in affirmative sentences, you use too much, which, be, which means demasiado. In negative sentences, you use so much, which means tanto. No debí haber comido tanto. Ahí está la diferencia entre too much y so much. Normalmente too much, demasiado, so much, tanto. Okay, but yeah, that's correct. Thank you, Estela. That is correct. I'm going to form the breakout rooms now for you. Um, give me a moment. Let's see, five. Great. Okay, so the breakout rooms will go like this. Room one. Francisco Isaac, Imelda Sánchez, and Olivia Osorio. Room two, Gladys Campos, Luis Enríquez, and Jenny Sánchez. Room three, Estela Lara, Luis Alonso, and Sonia Guadalupe. Room four, Alejandra Magaña, Michelle Escobar, and Paola Maria. Room five, Griselda Mendoza, Jose Vega, and Rufino Amilcar. I'm going to open the breaker rooms now. And as usual, I'm going to send this picture, this exercise via WhatsApp so you can have it. Everybody, please join your breaker rooms now. Okay, I just sent the exercise via WhatsApp. You can check your phone and you will find it there. I'm going to start visiting the breakout rooms now. Ya tiene la imagen ahí. Sí, ahorita la voy a poner. Ah, se están preparando. Ahí está, ve. ¿eh? <ríe> okay. Bueno, ya vino el bueno. teacher, nos va a ayudar con la segunda. Ok, <laughs> we have number two. When we got to the restaurant, there were no tables. Ya todas estaban ocupadas, right? We hadn't reserved one. No habíamos reservado una. Entonces, ¿qué debimos haber hecho? Reservar. Uh -huh. so, Entonces, ¿cómo nos queda? We... So how to to how reserve mm -hmm. to the restaurant? Um. Okay. We should have reserved what? Table. A table. Mm -hmm. We should have reserved the table. Así es. Debimos haber reservado una mesa. Mm -hmm. Exactly. We should have reserved the table. Very good. What about number three? Laura told me her address 
but I didn't write it down. Now I can't remember the house number. What about this? Laura me dijo su dirección, pero no la noté. Hoy ya no me acuerdo qué número es la casa. Es. So. I chose, uh, I chose long house. I shouldn't or I should? Shouldn't. Mm, why shouldn't? No. Oh. No, I should. I should. I, I should. should. What is the address? Again, I, I should. I, I should have. I should. Huh? Reading. Written. Written. Okay. written. I should have written. Her address. Her address down. Okay. Write down is anotar. So I should have written her address down. Así es. Very good. Okay. okay. Please continue. I have to go and visit a different room now. Eh, ayer no me sentía bien, ¿verdad? Ajá. Pero, pero fue a trabajar. Fue a trabajo, Ajá. Que lo cual fue un, un error. Fue un Ahora, grave error. Ahora se siente mucho peor. Dice. Bien. I, I, I shouldn't have. Uh -huh. I shouldn't have. Gone. Uh -huh. To work. To work. Uh, but not today. No, today not. Yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't have, have to gone work. to work yesterday. Good. Work. Great, great. The dog wants to participate too. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Very good. Please continue. I will visit another. Uh, room now. See you later. Okay. Yeah. Hi, Ruth. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, Hi teacher. Hi, Hi, teacher. Help me, please. Okay, that's why I'm here. Estoy perdida en la número tres. <laughs> Está perdida en la tres. Veamos, dice, Laura told me her address, but I didn't write it down. down. Now, I can, I can, can remember. remember the house number. Uh -huh. Nosotros pensamos que es así. Uh -huh. I should have right address. Okay, but what is the past participle of right? Wrote. Wrote is the past form. Wrote. Wrote is the past form, but not the past yes. participle. Uh, written written okay that's the written. past participle yes written. Written. so okay. i should have double t i should double t have written. written i should have written, have written address her address mm -hmm. yes. i should have i should have written her address su dirección verdad her address Y le podemos poner la palabra sí, down, sí. porque... I'm sorry? Down. Down. Address down. Her sí. address down. Uh -huh. I should have written her address uh -huh. down. Ay, a ver que ya podemos. Okay. Eso, eso. Should correcto. or children. Ay, ya estoy perdido. Should. No, I estamos should. perdidos. Should. Porque, I vaya, should vean, ajá, right porque si ustedes se fijan, ahí dice, Laura told me her address, but I didn't write it down. No lo escribí. Así que... Debí haberlo sure. escrito. Ah, sure. okay. O sea, se negativo perdió. se vuelve afirmativo. Y normalmente afirmativo se vuelve negativo. Gracias, okay. no, estoy, no estoy perdiendo entonces. Uh -huh. okay. Como en la primera. Si ustedes ven la primera, dice I'm feeling sick, I ate too much. Es una oración afirmativa. Comí ah. mucho. Entonces, no debí comer tanto. So, el afirmativo se vuelve okay. negativo. Yes. Uh -huh. Correcto. Okay. Ok, thank good. You. Thank you, teacher. Thank You're you. Welcome. Acomodar, acomodar los, los, los verbos es que podría ser un poco dificultoso. 
Uh -huh, uh -huh. Entonces ahí que nos pongamos un ratito. Quiero ver cómo es. Comí mucho, entonces no debí comer tanto. Entonces, Mire, no teacher, escribí. y, Ajá. y hacerle una preguntita. Dígame. ¿Y los, y los videos? Fíjese que yo los estuve buscando. Bueno, una clase que me perdí, pero no los encontré. Están en Veras. YouTube. Sí, sí están. Eh, yo creo que a todos les mandaron eh, un correo al principio del nivel donde aparece la lista de reproducción. Esa lista se va actualizando conforme nosotros vamos teniendo las clases, porque yo, bueno, termino la clase, terminamos con ustedes a las 9. Tipo 9 y 10, ya está descargado el video, como a las 10 de la noche ya está subido. Pero está Cada en noche. YouTube. Están en YouTube, Sí, así es. y ahí dice en el correo hay tres direcciones, una es la del Zoom, otro es la de, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Es Para... que yo vi la, 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 la página de este inglés corporativo. Uh -huh. No, es Le el voy correo a, que nos mandaron. le voy Ah, a pasar acá en un mensajito. va, porfa. Quiero ver si me sale. <ríe> Vamos a ver. Chat. Solo aquí a Sonia. Ajá, sí, es que yo quería ver las clases y Ahí no está. lo encontré. Se Thank lo mandé you. por, por mensaje directo ahí al chat. You're welcome. Lo voy a ver. Thank Okay, you. great. Okay, um, I have to visit another breaker room now. See you later. Hey, see you. See you later. See you later. Okay, vamos. Hello, ladies. Can you hear me? Hello. Yeah, teacher. Okay. Um, have you finished the exercise? Yeah, we have a question. For okay, number what's five. your question? Number? The number five. Number, number five. five. Okay. I was driving. The driver in front stopped suddenly, and I drove into his car. It wasn't my fault. So... ¿Qué tienen ahí? Vamos a ver. Pues nosotros llegamos a la conclusión de que sería como que the driver shouldn't have stopped. Yeah. Shouldn't have stopped suddenly. Mm -hmm. Correct. Así es. Fue culpa de él. Entonces, uh -huh. él no debía haber parado de la nada. Ok, so, yeah, correct. The driver shouldn't have stopped suddenly. That's it. That's the answer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Okay. Great. All right. What about number six? Can you um, share the answer with me? I met a pretty girl at the party last night, but I didn't ask her telephone number. I should have asked her phone, phone number. Yeah, I should have asked her phone number. That is correct. Very good. Okay, great. I still have to visit another breakout room, so um, I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay. Bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was driving. And it was driving. Sería iba manejando. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The driver in front stopped suddenly. Eh, el motorista de fre ah, el motorista que iba enfrente uh -huh. paró de repente. Y sí. I, I drove in into his car. car. I drove, uh, I help you. <laughs> I drove into his car. Le pegué por atrás. Ah, pegué. Le pegué ah. en la parte de atrás. Eso, eso es. I drove into his car. Mm. It wasn't my fault. No fue mi culpa, dice. Uh, I, it wasn't my fault. Ah, ok. Um, eh, aquí Pero... sería I. Eh, ah, pero I, veamos. ¿De quién fue la uh -huh. culpa entonces? Uh -huh. the, the driver. The driver. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces, the driver. The driver. Uh -huh. the, the, driver, driver. the driver should. Should 
have. Should, debería. Should have should, or shouldn't have. Shouldn't. Uh, shouldn't have. Oh, no, mm -hmm. no, mm -hmm. no, no, Shouldn't, shouldn't, have. shouldn't have shouldn't have stopped stop. yes stop it shouldn't have stopped suddenly, suddenly. Stop suddenly. Ah, okay. mm -hmm. uh -huh. no debió haber parado de, de la de nada repente. Uh -huh. de repente. eso suddenly. es lo que provocó el accidente so the driver shouldn't have stopped suddenly suddenly okay mm -hmm. that's right okay. very okay. good and what about number six I met a pretty girl at the party last night, but I didn't ask her telephone number. Six. Vamos a ver. Vaya. Me reuní con una chica bonita en la fiesta la noche pasada. De hecho, no es que se reunió, sino que la conoció. Ah, la conocí. Uh -huh. Conocí a una chica la bonita uh -huh. la noche la pasada. Fiesta. By a did, I didn't ask her telephone number, pero no le pregunté no le su número de teléfono. Nombre. Su <ríe> número de teléfono, no le pedí su número de teléfono. La regó ah, ahí. No. La regó bueno. bastante. Sí, la verdad que sí. <ríe> ok. <ríe> uh, uh, I have to go. Uh, my, yeah, eight, ah, yes, 830, eh. it's time. Yes, bueno, I, pero I, veamos I, esta rapidín, así para que. <ríe> Ok, entonces, ¿qué debía haber hecho? I, I should, should have. I should have. I should, I should, I should have. Uh, I should have. Uh, ask. Uh -huh. I should have asked. Ask. Uh, regular verb, ¿verdad? It's regular, ask, so ED. Re, I should have asked. Verb, okay. Yeah. Ask, ask the, uh, her telephone number. Correct. I should have asked mm -hmm. her telephone number. Her Good. telephone number. Okay. Her Great. Telephone number. Okay. I'm going to close the breakout rooms and uh, you'll have a, a minute to go back to the main meeting. Uh, Mirkar, thank you very much. and Thank you and you for helping, <laughs> helping You're me welcome. in the class. Very, okay. Very much. Take care. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>we shall have reserved reserve by a table. That's right. We should have reserved the table. Correct. Very good. We should have reserved the table. Debimos reservar una mesa. Okay, great. Luis, uh, do you want to take number three? 
Laura told me her address, but I didn't write it down. Now I can't remember the house number. Uh, I shouldn't have gone to work yesterday. Oh, but uh, that's number four. What about ah, number three? Excuse me, excuse me. It's okay, don't worry. I should have written her address down. Okay, good. Just the pronunciation. I should have written. I should have written. Mm -hmm. Okay, written. I written. should have written down Laura's address, or I should have written her address down. Puede ser también. Or I should have written uh, Laura's address down. Cualquiera de okay. esas está bien. Okay, very good. Um, thank you, Luis. What about okay. number four? Jenny, I wasn't I feeling well yesterday, but I went to work. That was a mistake. Now I feel worse. I shouldn't have gone to work yesterday. I shouldn't have gone to work yesterday. Okay, that's correct. Thank you, Jenny. I shouldn't have gone to work yesterday. Very good. Number five, Francisco Isaac. I was driving. The driver in front stopped suddenly and I drove into his car. It wasn't my fault. He shouldn't have stopped suddenly. The driver or he, in caso que fuera hombre, okay, or the driver in front of me, and the pongo en parenthesis porque no es necesario, but the driver shouldn't have stopped suddenly. Correct. Very good, Francisco. Great. And number six, who wants to try? Number six. Number six. Volunteer. Jose Vega. I met a pretty girl at the party last night, but I didn't ask her telephone number. Uh, I should I should have had her telephone number. I should have asked her telephone number. Okay. Yeah. I should have asked her telephone number. Debí pedirle su número telefónico. Okay. That is great. Everybody, very good. Now, um, let's continue. We still have one more thing to study here and two more exercises to solve. Would have. I'm going to change the slide now. Would have done. Take a look. You see this boy? He got an F in history. Okay. As I explained yesterday, F means fail. Okay. Aplazó el examen. So, fail. History test. The boy should have studied, eh? debió haber estudiado, should have studied for the test. If he had studied for the test, he wouldn't have failed the exam. Hmm? Si hubiera estudiado, no habría aplazado el examen. He would have gotten a good grade. Habría obtenido una buena calificación. So, we use would have in a past participle done when we imagine something that didn't happen in the past. There's a period missing here. Okay. So again, we use would have in a past participle when we imagine something that didn't happen in the past. Cuando tratamos de imaginarnos algo que no ocurrió, pero que podría haber ocurrido en determinadas circunstancias. Examples. Let's see. Jose Vega, can you help me read the first example, please? Jose? He's not there? Ah, okay. Sorry, teacher. No it's sé okay. qué vamos a hacer porque ahorita estaba con mi hijo. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sí, que lo estoy cuidando, que la mamá no está. Híjole. Bueno, sí. <laughs> bueno no sé si me ayuda leyendo el primer ejemplo. Nada más. Ah, okay. Um, they help. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. They help use a lot. I don't know what we will have done. Way up. They without, help without their help. Thank they, you. Yes. They helped okay. us a lot. Nos ayudaron mucho. I don't know what we would have done without her, their help. No sé lo que habríamos hecho sin su ayuda. What we would have done, lo que habríamos hecho. The second example, please. Let's see. Natalie, can you help me read the second example, please? It's a shame you didn't see the film. You would have liked it. 
Thank you, Natalie. It's a shame you didn't see the film. Es una lástima, ¿verdad? Que no viste la película. You would have liked it. Te habría gustado. Pero como no la viste, no sabemos. So, you would have liked it. All right. What about the third one? Estela, can you help me read it? Please. Okay. I didn't tell Jen. I didn't tell Jen James what happened. Mm -hmm. Happening. We, he would have been pleased. He wouldn't have been pleased. Please. Mm -hmm. okay. I didn't tell James what happened. No le dije a James lo que pasó. Right? He wouldn't have been pleased. No habría estado contento. A lo mejor eran malas noticias. A lo mejor era no decirle. So he wouldn't have been pleased. So that's the thing. You use would have and a verb in past participle when you imagine something that didn't happen in the past. So um, before we continue, do you have any questions about the grammar here? No, teacher. No questions. Okay, no questions. then. There are a couple exercises that we need to solve. The first one, your turn. What do you have to do? Complete the sentences uh, using would plus the following verbs in the correct form. You have to use would have and a verb in past participle. Okay? Todas son afirmativas, por cierto. The first one is the example. They helped us a lot. I don't know what we would have done without their help. Si que ya ocupamos do, no lo vayan a utilizar otra vez. You need to use the verbs be, be again, fall, enjoy, and stop. So we're going to try to do this here together. No, wait, because there is, let me check. Yeah, I think we can do it together. What about number two? Who wants to try? Do you go have B? Well, let's take a look at the first sentence. It's a shame you couldn't come to the party last night. Lástima que no fuiste a la fiesta. You go uh -huh. having you would have been it. it. Mm, not really. Maybe a different verb. Enjoy. Uh huh. So, what what is the complete sentence? You would enjoy. You would. <laughs> no, pardon me. Okay, okay. You would have jo enjoy enjoyed it. You would have enjoyed it. Lo habrías o la habrías disfrutado, ¿verdad? La fiesta. So you would have enjoyed it. Okay, that's correct. Thank you, Stella. Very good. What about number three? I was in a hurry when I saw you. Iba deprisa cuando te vi. I was in a hurry when I saw you. Otherwise, de lo contrario o de otra manera, what do you have right there? I, Luis Enriquez, uh, and then Francisco Itzak, and then Jenny Sanchez, okay. So, Luis? I should have stopped to talk. I should or I will? I will. I, I will have stopped to talk. Okay, otherwise, I, it's okay, don't worry. I would have stopped to talk. That's right. I was okay. in a hurry when I saw you. Otherwise, I would have stopped to talk. Iba a la carrera cuando te vi. De no haber sido así, me habría, habría detenido para, para hablar. Ok, very good. So, uh, Francisco Isaac, I, I understand, wanted to participate. Uh, what about this one, Francisco Isaac, number four? Are you there? Any more? Ah, ok, there's Francisco. So, Francisco, number four. We took a taxi home last night but we got stuck in the traffic. It will have B, B. What is the past B. participle of B? Bin. Bin, okay, bin. 
being quicker to walk. Okay, good. Can you say the complete sentence now? It, it would have been quicker to walk. It would have been quicker to walk. Habría sido más rápido caminar. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you, Francisco. Jenny Sanchez, what about number five? Thank goodness little Timmy didn't see that horror movie yesterday. He would have, he would have been really scared. He would have been really scared. Okay. Yes. Menos mal que Timmy no vio la película de terror anoche, right? He would have been really scared. Good. Thank you, Jenny. Alejandra Magaña, the last one, please. The movie you missed last night was very boring. Alejandra? Are you there? Bueno, no sé si soy yo. No la encuentro. <laughs> Se habrá desconectado de pronto. Bueno. Ok, who wants to try the last one? Me. Ok, Estela. You could have fallen asleep while watching it. Watching it. You would have fallen asleep while watching it. Ok, te habrías dormido viéndola. So you would have fallen asleep while watching it. Me describieron a mí. <laughs> Se duerme media película. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Thank you, Stella. Very good. The movie you missed last night was very boring. La película que te perdiste anoche o que no viste anoche, ¿verdad? Estaba aburrida. Te habrías dormido viéndola. You would have fallen asleep while watching it. Okay. That is great. Thank you. There is one more exercise for you. Before we continue, do you have any questions about this? No questions, teacher. No questions, okay. No question. Great. All right, so final exercise. Complete these conversations, then practice with a partner. So there is this, the cashier gave me too much change. What should I, using the verb do, of course, what should I, who wants to try? Mm -hmm. How done? What should I have done? Michelle, thank you. What should I have done? ¿Qué debía haber hecho? Right? And the other person says, mm -hmm. Who wants to try? Quien me participe tiene que decirme las dos del B, ¿verdad? Alejandra. Alejandra? Sorry. Okay. Uh, you should have said something. You should have said something. And you shouldn't have taken money. You shouldn't have taken the money. That's right. You should have said something. You shouldn't have taken the money. Speaking of that, pronunciation of this verb, say. Okay, let's say you say A here. But in the past form, well, in the third person singular, which is this one, you say, here's some pronunciation. The base form of the verb is say. This is the base form of the verb, say. And you pronounce a, a. But in the third person singular for present simple, for he, she, it, you only say says, says. The pronunciation is e. And for the past form, it's said, said. So, e. So it's a common mistake. Sometimes we say says, but that's incorrect. The correct form is says. Or the past, save, but it's incorrect. The correct form is said. 
Okay, some pronunciation right there. So thank you. Very good, Alejandra. What about number two, A? Who wants to try two A, please? Two A. Nobody? Okay, Natalie. I ignored an email from someone I don't like. What would you have done? What would you have done? Okay, thank you. I ignored an email from someone I don't like. What would you have done? Thank you, Natalie. I need a volunteer for part B, 2B, please. To be or not to be? That's the question. Okay, so 2B. Only one word. Okay, Jenny, and then Luis for number three. So I could have replied to the person. It just takes a minute. Thank you. I would have replied to the person. It just takes a minute. Good. Thank you very much. Luis Enriquez, number three A, please. Uh, I was watching a good movie when my phone rang. Como ahorita, justamente. What you, yes. <laughs> Just. Okay. I, I will start again. Sorry. Okay, no problem. No problem. Uh, I was watching a good movie when my phone rang. What should have? What should I have done? What should I have done? Okay, thank you, Luis. Very good. Um, what about 3B? Who wants to participate? Michelle. You should have taken the call and told the person you will call back later. Thank you, that is correct. Thank you, Michelle. You should have taken the call and told the person you'd call back later. Great, very good. And the last one, Sonia, number 4A, please. We let our trash on the campsite. Lo dije bien? Campsite. campsite. We left all our trash at the campsite. What would you have done? What would you have done? Okay, thank you, I Sonia. Oh, okay. If you want to uh, complete B also. I will have taken it with, with me and Tron. 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 It's a week later. That is correct. Thank you, Sonia. We left all our trash at the campsite. What would you have done? And the other person says, I would have taken it with me and thrown it away later. Very good. And ladies and gentlemen, with that, we finish. But we still have to do one more thing. That's the end of this presentation. So um, let's see. Just let me check this. It's um, We have to go over the final test. OK, I know that most of you have probably solved it by now, but uh, we need to do that. OK. so. Just give me a second. Sé que la mayoría probablemente ya lo resolvió, pero eh, bueno, es parte de mi obligación explicar cada sección ahorita por cualquier cosa. Okay, again, this is the final test for this level. Okay, en caso que no lo hayan resuelto, es de que lo hagamos esta misma noche, verdad? Porque ya después de esto se cierra todo y ya no va a haber más oportunidad. So what are we going to do? Well, the first part is the listening section. Listening part, instructions, listen to the conversations, choose the correct answers. In Spanish, escuche las conversaciones, escoja las respuestas correctas. So you have conversations from one to four. You need to listen to the track and in the track, you will find the four conversations. Okay, the first one is, if Wanda won the lottery, she would. This is the 
present and real conditional or second conditional that we have been studying would have kept uh, she would keep working, she would get a job, or she would quit her job. Conversation two, if Phil had the same choice as last night's winner, he would pay his car repair bills, he would choose the new car, or he would take the boat trip. Conversation three, Carr says he would have returned the big tip, kept the big tip, or left a big tip. Tip is propina, right? In number four, according to Bruce, this is conversation four, Tina should have, and this is what we studied today, should have, should have told her students not to use their cell phones in class. Tina should have switched. Aquí hay un errorcito de, tendría que ser así. Switched. Okay, hay un spelling mistake ahí, verdad? Solo para que sepan, verdad? switch off her cell phone and Tina should have told the teacher about her grandmother. So that's the listening part. What about the next one? It's complete the conversations, okay? Uh, the instructions, complete these conversations by choosing the best option. In Spanish, complete estas conversaciones, use los verbos sin parentesis. So letter A, if you're a doctor and then you have a space with the verb tell you to get more exercise, which sport, blah, blah, you, blah, blah, and then choose. So if your doctor told you to get more exercise, which sport will you choose? Or if your doctor told you to get more exercise, which sport you choose, okay? There is only one version of this that is correct. Letter B. Well, I'm going to read the answers directly. I am not sure, but I might go jogging two or three times a week or I'm not sure, but I go jogging two or three times a week. You need to select one or the other. That's the first conversation. Second conversation, you have the option for letter A, what would you do if your car broke down or what would you do your car broke down? And the reply is, if I don't afford to fix it, I would have to walk everywhere. Or if I couldn't afford to fix it, I would have to walk everywhere. Conversation three, a, if you had three months to travel, where would you go? Or if you had three months to travels, where would you go? Only one is correct. And the reply is, oh, that's easy. I fly to Antarctica. Or, oh, that's easy. I will fly to Antarctica. I've always wanted to go there. Y como que faltó esto en la otra, pero bueno, solo una es correcta de todas maneras. No afecta que no lleve esto. Then the next part, which is what we did yesterday, Bueno, creo que no hace mucha falta que pasemos por eso porque ayer lo resolvimos. Pero de todas maneras, aquí tenemos turn out the light before you leave. Have to. Sería you have to turn out the lights before you leave. Number two, no eating or drinking in the classroom using can't. So you say you can't eat or drink in the classroom. And that's it. La tercera nos estaba dando un poco de problema. You say, you uh, take off your shoes, allow. You are allowed to take off your shoes. Si le ponen la palabra here, se lo va a tomar como incorrecto. Así que, en caso alguien eh, no haya visto esto el día de ayer y lo está viendo ahorita por primera vez, no la vaya a ocupar la palabra here o se lo va a poner incorrecto. No es que tenga algo de malo, pero aparecerá así está programada la respuesta y si difiere, aunque sea en una letra, ya se lo toma como malo. Así que no le pongan here. And the last one, which is the reading. Desafortunadamente aparece aquí este mensaje. Google Drive, lo sentimos, el archivo que ha solicitado no existe. ¿Verdad? Así que, bueno, no podemos dejarlo así tampoco. Al Team Marín. Así que, no al Team Marín. Aquí está esta opción que dice mostrar respuesta. Así que ahí están. <ríe> Elíjalas porque, bueno. <risa> ahí veo a Estela diciendo ¿por qué no me fijé en esto antes? pero ahí está ese ahí truco es. no me lo sabía. ¿perdón? ese truco no me lo sabía no se sabía el truco pero sí ahí Yo aparece tampoco. mostrar respuesta así que ahí está solo en este caso ojo, solo en este caso porque no está el archivo, o sea, la lectura no aparece en la página yo tampoco tengo el archivo si lo tuviera, se los 
eh, compartiría. If I had it, I would share it with you. Yeah. Present and real conditional. Uh, pero como no está, bueno, entonces ahí aparece en la respuesta. Solamente elijan la que está ahí. Eh, la que aparece como correcta, denle enviar. Y tendrían que salir correctas todas. Para que no digan que es trampa. No es trampa porque no está el archivo. Así que tampoco nos va, no va a quedar a cero eso. No puede ser. Una excepción vamos a hacer acá. Ok, everybody. Remember to complete this. If you haven't done it, do it now, please. Because you only have tonight to complete it. And uh, I just want to say thank you very much for this level. I enjoyed it a lot. Okay. And I hope you learned a lot too. Okay. Remember that all the classes are on uh, YouTube. If you want to remember how to do something, or if you want to remember a specific structure or vocabulary, you can go and watch the videos. Okay. Everything is there. So thank you very much. And uh, I hope I can be your teacher sometime in the future. Maybe. I don't know when, but maybe some other time again. So everybody, thank you and uh, take care. Good night. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes, teacher. Thank you. Take care. <laughs>